We've sung the praises of the goal scorers and attacking fullbacks, etc. But what about someone, say a Jordan Henderson, Jose? Because he arrived in the same window as you. He's still at the club. When he got there, did you ever think this person, this individual, this teammate will be the one to A, take over from Steven Gerrard and the captain's armband, and B, become the first Liverpool captain to lift the Premier League trophy, the Premier League specifically? Well, obviously, you cannot guess that, not from him, not from anyone, I believe. But uh, I believe when he arrived, every, he has so much doubters and everyone put so much pressure on him straight away because obviously Stevie was getting older, he was playing the same position as Stevie, and everyone was saying, well, he's the substitute of Stevie, and Hendo and Stevie, they are both great players, but people have to forget and stop doing comparison when someone leaving and someone arriving, because that's not good for the player and not good for the club either, you know? So, but Hendo from the start, obviously he was struggling. Obviously he was 21 when he arrived to, to Liverpool from Sunderland. They paid 20 million for him, obviously, it wasn't the, the, the easiest thing at the end when you are that young to go to a massive club like Liverpool. Uh, and obviously, everyone putting you the pressure that you're going to be the success, successor of, of Stevie. So, obviously, it's not easy. But from the first day, what I can tell you is you could see that he was working so hard, was the first one to arrive, the last one to leave, stay always in the training, training ground after training, shooting, you know, in the free kicks and, you know, like staying, you know, to improve himself in every single way. So, and that's why he's the player he's today, because apart from the qualities he has, he puts so much time into it, you know, and so much hard work into it. That's why I, I was saying that for me, he's the player of the season as well, you know, because obviously for what he's done off the field as well, but on the field, I know how much he's done you know, of the, on the field and off the field, you know, in the training ground and everything. And people don't see that. Just people see you on the, ga on the games, you know, but he puts so much into his life, into football, you know, and, and he deserves so much what is happening to him because he's a, he's a great man as well. I know him very well. You know, every time I go to the hotels when they're playing, you know, he's the first one to receive me and I talk to him a lot and, and I'm so happy for him, you know, what he's, what he's achieving with Liverpool. So happy. He deserves it so much. So, you said Luis Suarez was the best player you saw in a Liverpool jersey. Based on what you're saying, was the hardest worker, because everyone talks about his work ethic, Jordan Henderson? Well, I play with Milner as well. I play with Milner in Liverpool and I play in Newcastle as well. Uh, so, and Milner, it looks like he can play six games in a row and then go home and have a marathon as well after it. You know, he's incredible as well. That's why sometimes they are very underrated, this type of players, because you say, oh, they just run and just... Milner can play in any position and he always give you a seven, always. It's difficult for him to give you a 10, but he always gives you a seven. And Hendo is exactly the same. He's a player that in any position you play him, he plays a rayback even sometimes. Uh, no, 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 now, but he did before, and he will always perform. And he's a player that, as a manager, you can rely always on him, and he's such a hard worker. And like you say, probably I can say, yeah, he's, if he's not the hardest, one of the hardest players I play with, definitely.